Hi guys, so I haven't seen you in a while. Um, I missed you a lot and I just want to say that I'm sorry for kind of going MIA and not really giving you guys an explanation for me being gone. Um, I really don't even have a reasoning other than the fact that every time I thought about making a video I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And then every time something came to my mind I was like, well I've done a ton of those. And so really I just haven't had any like inspiration to do like cool videos and like new videos and types of videos that I've never done and I don't have anybody to help me film I do it all on my own none of this is an excuse for as to why I've been gone I'm really sorry that I didn't give an explanation I feel super bad about it but I never wanted to just tell one person I always wanted to sit down and be able to tell all of you guys at once rather than me like coming back to one or two people on my Instagram so that's why I never really said anything about it um, I'm gonna do a Q&A pretty soon, maybe for like my next video, so go ahead and leave comments down below or comment them on my Instagram or tag me on Twitter with the hashtag AskGracie. Yeah, we'll do that. This video, sorry for me like babbling along, this video is a What's My Cheer Bag. I saw it requested a few times on previous videos, like I was just reading comments and I was like, okay, I'll do that. I think I've only done one of these. In case you didn't know, I cheer for my high school. And this is my first year cheering for school. No, I cheered for middle school last year, but, um, or you can call it middle school. It was just like JV. Um, but this is my first year on like a varsity high school cheer team. Um, if you've been following me for a long time, then you know that I used to do competitive cheer and that was like the what's in my cheer bag that I did last time. Um, but now it's for my high school. So this is what my cheer bag looks like. We are the colors black and gold. So that's why it's this. It's huge, which is pretty great. I kind of wish we had backpacks because they're so much easier to carry. Um, but this is what we have. So this is what I'm going to show you. It has a ton in it because there's a ton of room. So I just shove a bunch of stuff in it. On this side, it has my name. We all have that on ours. And this side, it just says my school name. And then it says cheerleader underneath it. Um, and I guess we'll start in the side pockets. Some of the things in here don't stay in here 24 7 but they do majority of the time um my basketball team has actually been doing really good this year so like we're going to regionals this wednesday and we went to like the first part of regionals last friday so i had to pack a bunch of stuff because regionals is like two hours away from where i live so there's more stuff in here than there would be like just for like a regular season but first i have a bow normally this isn't in here but it is because we wore this for our last game and I just threw it in here um, once the game was over and I was on the bus. I did not want my hair up anymore. Um, so I have that. It's just white. It has my initials on it. Really cute. And then the last thing I have in this pocket is this, but there's a ton of stuff in here. I'm not going to go through everything in this because it would just take the whole video. This is just kind of like an emergency kit. Up here I have extra pairs of like underwear in case like an emergency happens, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and here I have hair ties, a toothbrush, and here I have antibacterial hand wipes, hot hands for like football season when it's super cold outside, which it never got cold this year. Um, razors, which are crap razors, but when you're in need, you're in need. And then in here I have spray lotion because it dries really, really fast. Um, some touch gloves, some socks, extra pair of socks, um, deodorant toothpaste and hairspray if you're wondering this is the herbal essences hairspray it smells amazing you should try it if you're wondering this is just kind of like this is just a very bradley little like hanger thingy i'll link it down below if you guys want to find it i don't know if i'll be able to find this exact print because i think it might have retired but i'll try my hardest um to find it on the very bradley site and then if i can't find it there i'll just link the organizer rather than the pattern Okay, so in the other side pocket, this is kind of like more just like stuff that wouldn't fit into that thing. So I have my makeup bag, which doesn't always stay in here, but if I'm going to like a game or something, I'd usually throw it in my bag if we're like getting ready at school. If we get to come home and get ready, like if it's a home game, then I don't put this in there. But this is just the Zoella makeup bag with the eyes on it. I don't know if they're her eyes, but... It's cute. And in here, I guess I will kind of go through this with you. This is the Stila Black Obesidin Ink Cushion Eyeliner. It's amazing. I do not recommend buying the brush because I bought the brush and I hate it because it just keeps product on it. So actually what I've been doing, which is kind of weird, but um, this is an eyeliner that actually doesn't work anymore. It's like one of those pen eyeliners. It ran out of 
ink or whatever. So I just dip this in there and it's so easy to apply. Kind of weird, but it actually works. So I like it a lot. Um, then I have the Naked Skin Urban Decay Foundation in 6.0. Kind of dark for me right now, but um, I usually mix it with a lighter one that I have. Uh, but this is the only one in here for some reason. Then I have my Sigma Powder Brush because I don't like to bring my whole like Mr. Bunny set when I'm bringing all of my makeup because it just takes up more room and it's really heavy. So I just bring the brushes that I need. Then I have my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and the brush that goes with it. I'm in the shade Blonde if you can't tell. Then I have my Becca, is it Jaclyn Hill? I'm pretty sure it's Jaclyn. Yeah. And this has Champagne Pop in it, which is literally the only one I use. But they didn't have the single Champagne Pop where I live. So I just bought the palette and eventually I'll get use out of those. But right now I only use this one and it is amazing. If you can buy the single, I would definitely do so. But yeah, I like this palette and I literally take it everywhere. I have a blush brush, which is the Sigma F40, the large angled contour. Which I guess you would normally use it to contour, but I don't. Then I have a blush that was popular like probably three years ago, but I still really like it and it's the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush and it's broken because this bag got thrown in Plum Wine. I like this for in the winter time just because it's like a really deep red and there's not too much shimmer to it so it's like really pretty and I broke my MAC blush that was in a dark color like this so this is what I resorted to. Next, I have MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage. It makes my face really smooth before I put on my makeup, and I love it. Next, I have this concealer from Bobbi Brown. It's like a concealer um, loose powder duo, which I use all the concealer, but now I just use it for the like loose powder because it's translucent, so I use it to set the other concealer I use now, which I actually just got today. It is the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio Camouflaging Concealer. Um, from what I can tell, it works really good. It's a really high coverage, so, and it's kind of thick, but, I don't know. I'll have to let you know how I ended up, how I end up liking this. Normally, I use the Urban Decay matching one to this, the Naked Skin one, um, or the Maybelline Fit Me, but I decided to try this one just because. And then I have a setting brush for the powder that goes under my eyes, an eyelash curler, a MAC lipstick in... Deeper Glam 3, it's really dark, but sometimes I wear it to basketball games. A little travel size Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Powder, or bronzer. I put it all over my face, not that that's my color, but like, it goes on a lot lighter than this, so I just kind of use it everywhere. Then last but not least, I have a Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden, which I actually just recently got, which is weird because I remember I used to like, die over buying this because I, it was like the popular thing and I wanted it so bad. And then I just decided to try Eden because I've never tried this color. I've always had like Sin or the original. And then I have a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Favorite mascara. And then two random bobby pins. Okay, and then in the rest of this pocket, it's just kind of like a bunch of random stuff like thrown in there. So I have nail polish remover in case something happens and I forget to take my nail polish off at home. Which happens every time I have nail polish on. Um, so this is just in a plastic bag, which... Probably need to change the plastic bag because this one's getting a little rough and probably going to break. But it's just one of those ones that you like stick your finger in so you don't have to carry around like cotton balls and everything. Then I have this pack of bobby pins that I actually just got because I don't have any as you can tell they're like randomly everywhere. Then I have a brush. This is a wet brush and it's really pretty until my sister left it somewhere and messed it all up. But I mean... It used to be pretty and I like it because you can like see yourself in the back of it, so it's great. And then I have tampons for that time of the month. Matching deodorant, uh, not deodorant, lotion and body spray. I got this from somebody on my cheer team for Secret Santa and I love it. It's literally a scent that everybody would love, so you should try to smell it. Oh, actually, you can't really smell it because it's probably limited edition considering it's Christmas smell, but... Yeah, it's in Snow Kiss Sugar, and that almost went out my nose. Then I have a pack of gum, and this little thing, which actually is like one of those like portable charger things that you charge up, and then it will charge your phone. And then in the biggest pocket, I have my pom-poms, which are just white and gold. I love them. 
I feel like white pom-poms like just look the best. I've had black and gold, like one black and one gold, and those are just not cute ones, but I really like the white with the gold. And then I have cheer shoes. These are actually from my competitive cheerleading, but I cannot stand ever getting new cheer shoes, and these are still holding up. Like, they don't have any holes in the, like, soles or anything, so I'm going to use them until I can't anymore. Um, they need to be washed again, even though they literally just got washed, um, but... Yeah, and there's just like a random hair tie poking on it, and I wrote WWJD and frog on it. So what would Jesus do and fully rely on God? Because I copied my friend Lauren, but they're just things. Like I have like the WWJD and frog bracelets, so I thought it was a good idea to put it on my shoes. Then I have a can of Pringles, salt and vinegar kind. Um, I haven't actually eaten any of these yet. They've just been like sitting in my... Um, cheer bag because one time my mom didn't have any cash to give me at a basketball game to get food so I just threw this in my bag. And then I have beats for bus rides. Um, in case you're wondering I have the super cute hot pink ones. I love them. Pink's not normally my favorite color but I absolutely love these. And then last but not least in here I have my warm up that goes over my uniform. So these are pants and then this is what my jacket looks like. It's just got a wildcat and then it says my name right there. But yeah, that was all that was in my cheer bag. I just want to apologize again um, for not uploading in a while. I really hope that you guys can forgive me. Um, thank you guys so much for continuing to watch my videos. Even while I was gone, it's amazing to know that you guys still care. And you come back to my channel hoping that I've uploaded. And hopefully when you come back this time and see that I have, you'll be super excited. I love you guys so much, and don't forget to comment down below some video ideas, preferably things that I haven't done a lot of. Um, I might do like a morning and a night routine because this is like a different house. Like you guys have seen this house, but like I've never done one in this house. Um, and yeah, um, I'll be 16 in six months now. Isn't that crazy? Time has flown by because I think the last time I talked to you guys, I'd like just turned 15. So I'm really excited. Um, I love you guys so much, 